Good evening, everyone. Welcome to uh, Grover Project episode six, maybe. I'm not sure. <sighs> Quite a bit has happened, and lots of things have been purchased online. Um, but yeah, I'll just give you a quick, quick uh, date update as to what has happened since the last video. <sighs> this is the rover, I'm trying to find a place to put it, I'm sitting there for ages, working on it, careful, this is currently what it looks like, uh, this is a custom mounted base plate, very, it was quite difficult to put on, but uh, there's a couple of normal brackets that hold it on like that, uh, as you can as, as you can see, there's only three screws on the top. That's because this fourth one over here doesn't line up with the basically the screw would the screw would end up going into this chassis and it wouldn't work. But it's still, you know, it's not going to come off. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, yeah, luckily it's this the actual chassis that came the actual chassis that it's, it's in has holes and stuff so I could easily mount screws um, yeah I have ordered everything I need to set up a FBV camera all the different transmitters and stuff uh, a little 7 inch monitor so I can view live feed of the camera as well as recording uh, so I've ordered shocks because as you noticed there the actual truck itself the shocks don't support much weight now Originally, the base plate, this plate here, was a different one. Uh, four mil thick, super hard, super uh, heavy plate. Whereas this is one and a half mil, and as you can see, it's much thinner. I was worried that it was going to be very flexible, but as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, now it's much lighter, but still, as you can see, if as soon as I put anything on there, it slumps and it doesn't recover. Yeah, and that's because the shocks, these guys right here, they're not strong enough. So I'm gonna get. Uh, I've ordered four adjustable uh, shocks so that I can make the suspension much, much, much less subs, uh, much less, much more resistant to the actual the weight that comes down on it, so that it will actually stay upright. Of course, that means that it won't do this as much but I actually realized that it was actually quite a problem of course it hits that there and also um, it was doing this too much so like I would turn a corner you notice that on the first couple of videos I would turn a corner uh, and it would it would start to do this even though there's nothing there as you can see as it turns that wheels lifting up that, if we look at that again I'm pretty sure that's like couple of inches <laughs> yeah that's because the suspension's uh, a bit too weak and it was it mm, you know I'm hoping once some once some weight gets on there you know it'll be uh, much more what's the word um, smooth that's it smoother ride uh, I had to take all of the this is an ESC uh, this basically I think I was reading online, what it does is it, it just literally converts the motor to 5 volts so that it, this, this is the receiver, so that the receiver will take it. Of course I'm getting a new remote, I think I'm going for a Spectra, uh, because that way it's, I think I'm going to get like an 8 channel one so I can have my camera with a pan and tilt. One thing that I have realised is slightly, you'll notice, it's hard for me to show but it's slightly off. Happy New Year everyone. <laughs> One thing I think I'm going to do, to make him a little bit more friendly, eventually I'll probably put a face on him somewhere. Because I've seen other FPV RC people do that, and it kind of makes it kind of a little bit more funny. Maybe like a little smiley face. Because uh, <laughs> I've seen them like use these as hands, and like when they go around like, Hello, how are you? It's, it's a bit weird. I think it'll be quite funny. Um, yeah, uh, if you want, I think I've got a... I have a checklist of all my orders. So we've got GoPro tripod mount, we've got 
the header pins, that's so that I can set up all of the FPV stuff. 7 inch monitor, RC shocks, those are coming. AV, the GoPro cable, that's so I can connect it up to the receiver. Um, and we've got the RC battery with charger, oh, that's, um, what's that for? Ah, yeah, that's for the, tram. I think that's for the transmitter. Because the, there's the receiver and the transmitter for the video. The transmitter goes on this, of course, because it's the transmitter. The transmit signal, and then the receiver will be on the controller somewhere. And I need to power both of those. And then, but the receiver runs DC. So I'll just use the DC battery for that. Uh, and then we've got a DC splitter. And then the rest is just the actual physical kit itself. Transmitter and the receiver. And all of that costed... A whopping 120 quid, which is depressing me as I speak about it. Anyway, that that was an update. Uh, not can't really do a test drive because all the components are all of its guts have been like strawn out everywhere, and it's like batteries are. It might be a small a small gap between this episode and the next one because some of the stuff that I've ordered, the actual base kit, is American uh, America, and it has like weird. The only reason why it cost me so much is because of course the tax on the shipping is quite hefty but yes thank you all very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it um, you know click that like button uh, subscribe and comment down below maybe some cool ideas for videos or things I could do with this with, with Grover uh, yeah I'll see you guys later bye guys